And now back to your regularly scheduled program. What's good to YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to yet another live reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR, and since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave your comments down below, and enjoy this reaction video. What's good to YouTube? What's good, TMR gang? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to yet another live reaction video. I'm your girl, TMR. Thank y'all so much for stopping what you were doing and meet me over in this damn break room, y'all. Oh, boy. All right, y'all see the title. And y'all see the thumbnail, okay? Happy Monday to you all. Um, Happy uh, total solar eclipse. If you are in the area of totality... Um, of the solar eclipse, okay. Uh, a phenomenon, a phenomenon is going to happen today. If y'all are aware of that, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my stuff going. So y'all, we y'all see what we gonna talk about? We got live and um in the break room, y'all. We got live and we got um. Um, we have, um, uh, you said 95% here in Alabama. Okay. Okay. Um, I was just saying, I miss TMI. We need to break with me as soon as Papa I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Yes, sis. I definitely hit, did have a good weekend. I hope you guys did too. Sorry. I wasn't able to get on here this weekend. But I'm here now, okay? And I got a chance to listen to uh, Liv's Life live from yesterday. I believe it was titled Cash App and Football. Um, Y'all know we've been going through this for quite some time, okay, with Olivia. I don't know the past. What, what it's been now, y'all? Three, four years? It, it's been a, a long damn time, okay, <laughs> that we keep talking about this situation. And, um, you know, guys, y'all know over the time, Happy anniversary, uh, anniversary, Miss Lewinsky. Over the time, you guys, y'all know I gave y'all my opinions. Um, you know, at the end of the day, baby, I ain't trying to be friendly with anybody. I don't care who like it, who don't like it. It's just my thought. You know, at times, um, uh, at times, you you know, we all don't disagree. We, we all disagree here in the chat room because sometimes my opinion you guys agree with, and sometimes you don't. And that's okay. Um, BS cash apps and football. Thank you so much, KC Harris. But, um, you know, I'm going to just give y'all my very unbiased opinion in this situation. What, what I've always done since we've been over here in the break room. And I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say as well, too. Yes, sis, happy anniversary to you. So, um, y'all, let's get started, okay? We also going to, I'm I'm more than likely are going to, is, is, excuse me, more than likely I am going to come back to um, to you guys tonight. I know a lot of you guys um, watch Nika and you guys be wanting me to um, commentate on her. Well, there is something going on with Nika. Y'all know the lady with the 10 kids. There is something going on with her that I definitely do want to talk about. So I may come back later this evening and do a live reaction on that as well. Um, you said, I heard clips of it in another reactions live and just laugh. She demands respect. She doesn't um, ever have for the damn self comical. Yeah, you know, like I said, you said no now. You said no to Nika. <laughs> Ezra, girl, I, you know what? Y'all know Nika is definitely somebody I don't chime in too frequently, but I did get a peek at something she got going on. And I think we need to talk about it, right? If we if we go over there and dig in Sky's uh, uh, backyard, we're going to go dig in Nika's because I, I think we need to talk about this because in my opinion, it's a lot 
it, in, in a sense, it kind of ties into what Olivia has going on. I mean, some things I just really feel is not for the internet, right? And we said this a long time ago about Olivia. We we advised her in comment section, reaction videos. Some of y'all sent her an email. Some of y'all DM'd her. But we all had advised Olivia a long time ago, sis, you really need to keep a lot of your personal business off the internet. However, these ladies are grown. Um, everybody is grown um, pretty much on, on the internet that we are watching and these grown folks are entitled to do whatever they want to do with their grown lives. And if they feel like they need to come on the internet and, and give us um, bits and pieces of what's going on in, in their lives. And y'all know for, for the most part, we add on or subtract what we want to about what's going on. You said lions, tigers, and bells. Oh no, you said Lord lions and tigers and neat. <laughs> You're so silly. Um, so with Olivia, you guys, we're going to go into her live. Now, her live is an hour and 45 minutes. Obviously, y'all know we don't watch the whole entire live, but we're going to watch. We're, we're going to start about the 35 minute mark because it took her about 35 minutes to get 100 likes. And we're not even going to focus on that because we already know Um what it is with Olivia and likes and things of that nature. Olivia was very upset because she couldn't understand why people watch her, but yet they won't give her a like. I mean, we, we talk about that over here. I'll ask you guys to like the, you know, like the live clock into the break room. But at the end of the day, TMR don't have, you know, your arm twisted around your back. Tell like, you better give me a like. I can only suggest that you like the video. You hit the like button. You, you know, you clock into the break room, but if you don't, TMR is not going to do a whole 30 minute conversation on why you guys should like my video because you're sitting here watching me. Let's be honest, y'all. For the reality, most people are watching because they're just nosy. It really doesn't have anything to do with if I like you or not. Then a lot of people do watch because they do like you, right? I don't know why these folks get all caught up in these likes and stuff. Like I said, you can ask periodically throughout either a video or a live stream. You could pop it on the screen. You could do whatever you want to do. But ultimately, it's you all's grown decision if you're going to like or not. And a lot of you guys will like after the live because sometimes sometimes you guys will like it judged or based on what's going on in the video, what the conversation is, if you agree, disagree, whatever. You know, I just don't understand why people get caught. Olivia caught herself up for 40 minutes damn near trying to suggest that people like her video because they were sitting there listening to her. You know, when me personally, if, if likes is that important to you, um, maybe you should come on and immediately start talking um, based off the, the title of your video and get people more engaged in your video within at least the first 10 minutes. And maybe people will like. You know, I just, I never understood why people would like to hold up live streams for like buttons. It's, it's, I, in my opinion, it's really not that serious, but I guess it's serious to, to these ladies because they really get into these likes. I remember Chrissy, y'all remember Strong Mommy Chrissy? Strong Mommy Chrissy had a bad habit of doing that, but for, for Chrissy, it worked. She would hold up her whole entire live, sometimes 30, 40 minutes to an hour. And she, and she uh, Chrissy, honey, she she came on strong. She would immediately ask for 500 likes. And she would not start talking until she got them 500 likes. But for the most part, she got them. She didn't really have to tussle with the people a whole lot. But that's, in my opinion, that's because the majority of the people that are subscribed to Chrissy, in my opinion, like her, right? So they, they don't mind giving her a like. I feel like the majority of the people that are subscribed to Olivia don't like her, but they watch because it's a train wreck. I'm not saying Chrissy's not a train wreck because, you know, she, she got her train wreck moments as well, too. But I know over time, Chrissy doesn't really hold up her lives for the likes anymore because she's not really into the Internet like she was when I started watching her five years ago. Um, but, y'all, let's get into this conversation again. Happy Monday to you guys. Um, you said, don't you have to actually like the video in order to like it? <laughs> yeah, black and bougie, you know, um, that is true. I think for the most part, Olivia likes to get on here and tussle with the people. Um, Jasmine doesn't even hold up her live for likes. Every now and then she will ask for likes, 100 likes. But for the most part, 
Jasmine be so anxious to get on here and run her mouth about absolutely nothing. She don't really care if you like the video or not. She just want to get on here and spill her tea, okay? All right. So let's get into this video. Um... I could live in because it continuously dims yours and I'm sorry you're not in my shadow baby if you feel like you're in my shadow go ahead and go make you some light okay if you live in and live shadow I don't know what to tell y'all I didn't put you there you put yourself there you continuously put yourself there when you try to go back and forth with me okay you are not gonna win at this game sir you might have won a couple uh couple battles but you're not gonna win the war so stop playing with me Gerard, stop playing with me. Lorenzo, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, y'all. Stop. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I started because I told you guys I had watched some of this already. I apologize. Let me get to the part. This one. I don't want to make this live like a two-hour live. But okay, we can get into it. I said try it out, Kayla. Yes, whatever makes you happy, baby. Whatever makes you happy. Shoot. You know? Okay. So let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so, like I said, people need to stop playing with me. It's 2024. And <coughs> I'm in my soft girl era, okay? Like, I just want happiness, um, abundance, light, love. I don't want no more bullshit, okay? Okay, so what do I want to talk about first? You're in your soft girl era? I mean, Olivia, do you even know what that means? Is it soft because your mom is back from Florida with AJ? Is, is that what makes it soft? Now... I didn't react to this video, but a few, maybe about two weeks ago, Olivia did a video where she was saying that her mom, Stella, and AJ went to Florida and that AJ's father was coming down from New York to get AJ and take AJ back to New York with him so AJ can spend time with this other family. And I remember listening to the video as I was doing something. And I remember turning around and looking down at my phone like, girl, what? She proceeded to also say that Kaylani, because again, AJ and Kaylani are, uh, allegedly have the same father. Kaylani, unfortunately, couldn't make that trip because, you know, dad is he could basically only handle AJ and couldn't handle Kaylani and AJ together because, you know, he has to work. And I'm thinking to myself, what's the difference between AJ and Kaylani? Cause to be quite honest with you, other than their age, they both are total needs children. And what I mean by total needs, their needs are totally dependent upon the adult that's in the home. So AJ needs, you know, prompting or cueing with feeding Somebody got it. He's still, he's not potty trained. So somebody got to change him. Somebody got to put his clothes on. Somebody got to give him a bath. Same thing that you would have to do for Kaylani. But she wanted us to believe that it would be easier for AJ dad, dad to handle AJ than Kaylani and AJ together. Now, granted, he's never seen Kaylani. Although Olivia told us um, about a month or so ago, he came down when he discovered she was using his identity to secure an apartment. He came down to check her. She meant she didn't make any mention of him spending time with his daughter. However, Stella goes out of town and AJ is being picked up from dad from New York. And all I was thinking was, why would Stella have to be the one to transport AJ to Florida? Why couldn't dad come from Texas like he or excuse me, from New York? like he did about a month ago when he came to check you, why couldn't he just come down from Texas and grab AJ from Texas and shoot back up to New York? Why did he have to divert to Florida 
when he could just easily, and then that way he could have spent some time with Kaylani before him and AJ left. Again, you guys, we all, I, I, personally, I, I just really feel like Stella went to Florida to visit her other grandchildren and her other daughter. Olivia did not want the burden of having to deal with AJ, the new baby, and the other three kids all by herself. So she asked her mom, because she did mention in that video that her sister, Raquel, wanted to see AJ. So she don't want to see Kaylani either because she hasn't seen it. Kaylani unless in a FaceTime. However, that's the reason why Stella took AJ with her. And I just, I'm just listening to Olivia. And I'm like, girl, this doesn't, what you're saying doesn't even make logical sense. Maybe it happened like that, but logically it doesn't make sense. But let's go ahead and finish listening to her. Let's talk about Friday. Okay, let's talk about what happened on Friday. Was that Friday? Yeah, that was Friday. Okay, so number one, there is this man on social media. Okay, it's somebody that I used to deal with a, a long time ago. And I don't even want to talk bad about you, homie, because I already said everything that there is to say about about you but since you constantly and i don't even want to talk about you publicly anymore you know who you are and the people who have been around know who you are all i'm gonna say is stop playing in my cash app okay i blocked you so you can no longer play in the cash app okay i don't know why you keep doing that i already denied any little bit of pennies you're trying to send me and now you're now he's now depositing money into my cash app and then canceling it and then depositing it again, canceling it just so he can screenshot it and post it. Let me tell you something. Sending cash apps has to be like the lowest form of clout chasing that I have ever witnessed in my life. Um, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. OK, you think something that it's not you think that this is your son. You know what, you know what this is? This is a cell phone, right? If you were a grown ass man, okay, and you weren't clout chasing, you can just call my cell phone. You have my phone number, just call me, okay? Cause I'll give you a paternity test. That's what you want so dearly in your heart, your heart of hearts, right? I'll give it to you so you can leave me alone once and for all, okay? Just call me, just call me, you know? That's how I know you're just a straight up clout chaser. You always have been and you always will be. And that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, it's sad because it don't even have to be like that. Like, I'm not trying to fight with nobody. I'm not trying to go back and forth. So let's be honest. Olivia says that Zolo, so she's talking about Zolo, which is a guy that she dated very briefly a few years ago. And soon after their relationship ended, Olivia, um, came up pregnant and from the time she announced her pregnancy up until today's current date she always wanted us to believe that Zolo who we all felt likely could be the father was not the father but in my opinion this is why Zolo plays with her because Olivia played with the paternity of her son with the internet when Olivia was pregnant with the baby AJ Olivia came on this internet numerous times telling us that first the father was a, a, a Jamaican police officer and then he was, I don't know, an astronaut. I mean, and then when AJ was actually born, she introduced him to us as a one of her daughter's baby doll. Like she herself trolled the internet with AJ, the, the pregnancy of AJ, the delivery of AJ. Just here recently, about what, six months ago, she hid his identity. So my thing is, of course, Zolo will troll you about your son. You trolled the internet about your son. Now, me personally, if, a if Zolo truly feels like AJ is his child, why not just take the girl to court? Why send her cash apps, send them back, send them to her, send them back? Why not just petition her in court to find out if this boy is truly yours? Or if Olivia truly knows AJ is not his, then why not post the DNA results of whoever you did DNA with that you're claiming is the father? Because 
if you would post the DNA results of whoever you feel is the father and it's 99.9% .9 sure that that person is the father, then there would be no need for Zolo to troll you. To me personally, if, if Olivia really wanted to shut Zolo down, she could have shut Zolo down two years ago. The fact that she's still playing with this man and he playing with her makes me highly believe that Zolo more than likely is the father. I don't care. I don't know why you hate me so much. All I did was ever help you. Did it get ugly at the end? Yes, because that's the way you made it. It didn't even have to get like that. Um, but everything you have right now is thanks to me. So you should be thankful and you should be appreciative that I put you on the way I did. So the old lady could find you and now you guys are <coughs> together. And I'm sorry, I don't need to call her an old lady. I just don't know her name. But so y'all could be together. Like, because she was... You definitely do know... Zolo's significant other, Donna. You definitely know her name, Olivia. You know everything on this internet when it comes to this mommy community. Nothing gets past you. You're everywhere. You're watching every video. So you definitely, so to call that woman an old lady, that definitely was you being shady, which she is an older lady, but you know her name. You, you know her name, sis. And then you wonder why Zolo is playing with you. Because you play with everybody else. You're disrespectful, in my opinion. My supporter, right? She was a subscriber. She was a member. She was a everything to my, what I got going on. So if it wasn't for Liv, you wouldn't be put in that situation that you're in now, right? That you just, you know, you think you're just like, <laughs> you know. So wait a minute. Hold on. So you're saying Zolo needs to thank you? for putting him in a position to meet Donna? Is that what you're saying, Olivia? Well, if that's the case, does Gerard need to thank you too? Because if it wasn't for you leaving, Flor leaving for Florida the very first time you left, Gerard wouldn't have had a chance to be single and hooked up with Antonisha. So does... Does Gerard owe you thanks too for, for being able to meet Antonisha since Zolo owes you thanks? Girl, you sound silly. D don't Nobody owes you anything. It's called fate. It, it was going to happen. It just so happened to happen on your platform. But the, you know, fate, it happens. It, it was supposed to happen like that. Zolo was supposed, you were supposed to meet Zolo at the halfway house, move him in, buy him bunny rabbits, and he embarrassed you repeatedly on the internet. You kept taking him back. And then eventually Donna slithered in his DMs. And then they're in Chicago living happily ever after. Like, sis, it was supposed to happen like that. So whatever, whatever. I'm not even going to talk bad. But I'm just saying, I have a cell phone. And this is why I say, you guys, you can tell a person by how they act and what they do. You know what I mean? And, you know, for so long, people were like, oh, these men leveled up after Liv. They leveled up. They did this. Leveling up, you show that in some way. You feel me? Especially in how you treat other people. And, and one thing about this person that I'm speaking about, he's still so bitter and so angry and <laughs> still doing all this revenge things on the internet for cloud and this and that. See, if that woman that you're with was really a step up and a level up and blah, 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 blah. You wouldn't be doing all this petty shit on the internet because I would never let my man do some shit like this, especially to a woman that supposedly you guys have a child together. Like what? So wait a minute. So you're saying Donna is supposed to teach Zolo how to respect his baby mothers? No, that's not her job. As long as Zolo is respecting her, what, what goes on between him and his baby mamas is between him and his baby mamas. In my opinion, Z Donna ain't supposed to tell that. Now, Zolo, now you know you better treat Libby Pooh better than what you treat. Let's stop playing with that girl. Now, me personally, unless Zolo is sliding in your DMs trying to see if he can rub on your booty, unless he's doing that, I, I don't understand how he's disrespecting Donna. Uh, me personally, again, Zolo trolls you through the internet, 
because you trolled the internet with AJ through the internet. Had you never started that trolling behavior with your pregnancy, Olivia? Maybe Zola, because let's be honest, sis, everything that Zola was doing, he learned from you. Remember, you put him on game. Did you forget that? See, it's it's funny how these people forget me. Girl, you taught him the playbook. You told him how to get on here and ask his subscriber for cash apps and supporting. And you taught him that. So the trolling behavior that he learned, he, well, let me say this. The trolling behavior that he is displaying Sis, he learned it from you, his teacher. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. My whole point is, you have my number. If you want to be a grown-ass man, call my phone and we can arrange it. I'm not doing shit for the internet. My, you're not going to play with my son on the fucking internet. That's what you're not about to fucking do. But Jack, you played with your own son on the internet. Now, granted, it's your son. So you can do whatever you want to. But it's the fact that, Olivia, you played with your own son through the internet. But now you want AJ to call, or excuse me, not AJ. Now you want Zolo to call you? F the phone call, sis. Send that man, uh, uh, take him to court, and let's, let's go ahead and, and squash it. Let's prove it once and for all that he either is or is not the father. The fact that you don't want Zolo playing with you through the internet, but yet you came to the internet to talk about Zolo playing with you on the internet. Why you don't send him a cease and desist like you was trying to do everybody else on the internet? You're not. You're not. You're not. We're not. Okay? Nobody's going to play with me ever again about my children. You got the same bonnet? So all this sending me money, canceling it, this and that. First of all, you're, you're, first of all, I don't want your pennies. Okay. If this really was your son, he's been alive for two whole years and you send $300, but you're bankrolling it. You got it like that. So wait a minute, sis. If it. You're, okay, you said if it really was his son, but you're saying it's not. So what difference does it make if he sent you $300 or $30 in the last two years? The fact that you have told us for two years that AJ is not his son, what does it matter? It shouldn't even matter. All you got to do is block that man out your cash apps and he won't be able to play with you in the cash apps anymore. It's the fact that last month when he sent you the $100, it's the fact that you still hadn't blocked him. You should have blocked him then. If you're insulted by him sending you pennies, why was he still able a month later to still cash at you? But you have the nerve. What an insult. You have the nerve to send me $300 for your supposable son. I wipe my ass with $300. He wipes his ass with $300. That just goes to show you you're not. You wipe your ass with $300? Girl, you were forced to go get a job because you're on probation for child support. And you got a job doing DoorDash. But now you're wiping your ass with $300? You came on the internet, a, what, a week or so ago? With a registry ask, asking people to help you su supply your dream. But now you can wipe your ass with $300 as if you got it like that? Well, if you got it like that, why are you asking the people for their money? If $300 is wipeable ass money, girl, stop it. Somebody send me $300. I'm going to be like, thank you. I ain't going to be wiping my ass with $300. I'm going to be swiping my bank account with them $300. You don't know how to be a father and you don't know what it takes to be a father. $300 for two years? Boy, bye. Stop clout chasing me and get off my nuts, okay? It's been too long. Leave me alone. Like I said, if you want to, if you want something from me, hit me up. All this extra shit, being extra, trying to still hate me for the internet. Nobody cares anymore. The only time people engage with your channel is when you talk about me. But you 
See, Olivia doesn't like the fact that the men in her life, the, the, the fathers or the alleged fathers, play with her. They don't respect her. But how can you respect a woman who brings all her personal business to the internet? This is the same woman three years ago. Got on the internet when her and Gerard initially had separated. And she went back to Texas to try to save her marriage. And in the midst of her saving her marriage, she ended up messing around with another guy named um, Brandon. But in many live streams, Olivia announced to the internet that her husband at the time, Gerard, was over there eating her booty like groceries. Now, I don't know if Gerard was over there eating her booty like groceries or not, but it's the fact that you came on the internet to tell us your personal intimate business. But you don't like the you don't like the fact that the men in your life play with you, but you play yourself on the internet damn near every day. Like if you want the men to respect you, then you got to respect yourself. And a lot of the stuff that Olivia, you, regardless if this your life, it's your business, blah, 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 blah. But it's, it's obvious, it's obvious that these men not respecting you bothers you. That's obvious, sis. Because if it, if it didn't bother you, you wouldn't come on the internet and talk about it. So you want them to respect you, but you won't even respect yourself on the internet. Girl, you got on this internet, I don't care if it was three years ago, three minutes, 30 years, you got on this internet with the man that you're talking about right now and acted as if you were performing fellatio on this man on the internet. But now you want this man to respect you, but you disrespected yourself with this man about three years ago, acting as if you were going down on him on the internet. Girl, stop it. You don't need to do that anymore because you hit the, the money jackpot over there. So leave me alone. Leave me alone. Say this was your son. Why do you want to go back and forth with me on the internet, bro? Why? For what? Because he's following the playbook, Olivia. He watched you go back and forth with your rod on the internet. Now, let, let's be let's be honest. A Zolo, Zolo is not a bright individual. He's not very smart. But that's the man you chose, sis. You chose him. At one time, you had the man tatted on your damn body, girl. So he chooses to go back and forth with you because he knows the internet is how he gets your attention. Because he, again, sis, you taught him. You created your own monster. And that goes for Zolo and Gerard. You created all of this. They're just following your own playbook. What is wrong with men these days? What is wrong with men these days? That's why I say like, like any man that I break up with, they are so bitter and I'm not trying to be petty and I'm not trying to be bashing anybody or anything like that. But why y'all so petty? Why y'all so bitter? But I don't want to fuck with y'all no more. It's okay. You want to still be friends? You want to be friendly? You want to say what's up? I don't just don't understand. You have some you have some unfinished business with me. Do you have like you need some closure? I don't know what it is, but it's yes, sis. He does have unfinished business with you. He needs to officially know, regardless if he cares or not. I don't know if Zolo cares if that boy is his or not. Let's be honest. The boy had been on this earth for two years. The fact that he didn't pull a Gerard on her and drag her ass in court, because it, 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 it definitely seems like Zolo got the coin to take her to court to get a DNA. The fact that he hasn't done it yet, but again, I don't I don't expect for Zolo to act mature. I don't expect that out of him. However, yeah, he does have some uh, unfinished business with you, sis. He needs to officially know if that his, is his son. And me personally, if I was you, I would have been gave that man the DNA if you know 100% for sure that he's not. Why not give him the fact that if Zolo isn't the father and there is and the, this other man is the father, I'm sure this man is fully aware of your social media. The fact that you beefing back and forth with another man on the internet about 
the paternity of another man's child. And he knows that's his child. Like, to me, that's disrespectful to the father if Zolo isn't the real father. It's, that's disrespectful to him. The fact that you got this man beefing with you about a baby that possibly isn't his. And the fact that you won't officially dead it makes me feel like you like that connection with Zolo. He's giving you're bitter. So stop it. Like I said, grow up. I'm 34 years old. And you're not going to fucking keep playing with me and my son on this internet, sir. You can hit my phone up. I got the same number. Hit me up. Call me like a grown ass man. Do not record my phone conversation because please just knock it the fuck off. I'm done with that. If you want something from me, call me and I'll give it to you. I'll gladly give it to you. It's giving, you don't want me to give it to you because you already know what the results are going to be and you don't want the results. You just want this shit to keep lingering on. Oh, is it his son? Is it not? Your, it's not your son. I don't know if you guys know this, but him and I look a lot alike. We're both mixed. If my baby looks like him, it's because my baby look like me. Okay. But you want a paternity test? Come get one. Hit my phone. Girl, wait a minute. You're saying because both of y'all are mixed, that's the reason why AJ looks like he looks? Well, what's the excuse for the three oldest kids? You're light-skinned, Gerard's dark skin, and they're brown skin. So what's the rationale for that? Girl, you sound slow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Olivia, you do. Own up. I'm not playing these fucking games with you. And stop playing in my cash apps. Stop it gonna send me some money then cancel it first of all i was gonna decline your money any fucking way but he literally sent it decline uh he he sent it canceled it and then sent it again and canceled it again literally within 10 minutes and if it's ass wipeable money why are you offended he okay he intended to send you money and then took it back you can't miss what you ain't never had so why are you mad I'm like, ew, what are you doing playing in my fucking, in my cash app? Why are you doing this? Just so you can post it on your page that you sent me money? Like, stop it. You said he canceled Knock it after off. 30 I did minutes? Block him on, I, I blocked his ass on cash app. I did. I should have blocked your ass before. Like, what's wrong with you? Right. You should have blocked him before. So why didn't you? If, if you don't want no, if you don't want an interaction with Zolo, why did you still have it accessible where he could cash app you? Because you're hoping that Zolo sends you money without making a stink. You just want Zolo to feel like unofficially this is your son. So just send me money whenever you got it. And we ain't got it really. No, since that's not how that works. AJ has the right to know who his biological father is. Regardless if he worked uh, two pennies rubbed together. He, if he's not worth two pennies to rub together or not. The, the boy deserves to know who his biological father is. You made the decision to pull Zolo out that halfway house a few years back. And even when you got rid of Zolo, you still went back to retrieve him. Again, you, you made those conscious decisions to play with Zolo like that. You should have ended that. Matter of fact, it shouldn't have never even started. But, I mean, it is what it is at this point. So, again... If you don't want any interaction with Zolo, when he sent you that hundred dollars for AJ's birthday, and you sent it back, why you didn't? Why didn't you block the cash app then? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, bro? Don't do that. He just wants your attention. I know he does. I know he does. But you ain't gotta do all that, baby. Just call me. Just be a grown ass man and call me. You know, that woman is teaching you right from wrong and she's she's raising you again, right? So she should be teaching you respect and honor women, especially women that you think you have kids with. You should be respecting me. Like, I should respect you. I don't have nothing bad to say about you, even though you did so much dirty shit to me on this internet. I don't care. I'm healed past that. Let bygones be bygones. I don't care no more. But stop playing with me and my baby. So you see how she tried to make Zolo feel bad for disrespecting her because unofficially, I'm your baby mama, although I haven't actually came and said it. But Zolo, why are you treating me like this? I'm your baby mama. 
Well, no, until the until the court says it. I mean, you just a chick that could have been pregnant by him. If you really want to uh, officially get some respect for him, then officially put it on paper if he is or is not the father. Okay. <sighs> anyway, that's that on that. Okay, because stop playing. That's it. It's no longer you versus me, Olivia, and you in a thumbnail. Like, I'm done with that. Knock it off. God damn. <laughs> People will just won't let it go, honey. Let it go, let it flow. God damn. Leave me alone. But you know what the joke is? Olivia knows how a or Zolo treated his other baby mama. Zolo has a, a daughter. Olivia knows how he, Zolo treated her. So why do you feel like you're going to get any different treatment? Because you put him on to, to Donna. You put him up on game. So you feel like Zolo needs to appreciate you more because you you were the gateway to, for him to meet Donna. Like the fact that you even think that just shows us your mentality or maturity level. Leave me alone or get on it like a real man. You know, you ain't got to try to be like my ex. Don't be like him. Be better than him. Because you saw for yourself what he's like. You saw that shit. So why are you trying to be like him? I'm not about to. I'm not about to go to war with you. Exactly, Amber. I already went to war. I already know how to play the game. <coughs> so stop it. Knock it off. I don't want to go back and forth with you. If you want something from me, hit my phone up, okay? Like a grown ass man does. Okay, that's it. And that's well, that's um, who said that? Lisa Holly. I mean, child. That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Why does Zolo still have your number? Why haven't you changed it? it? The same reason why when he sent her the $100 for AJ's birthday, she didn't block him from the cash app then. Because more than likely, AJ does belong to Zolo. She just don't want to be embarrassed on the internet to show the internet was right. Like Olivia has this love-hate relationship with the internet. Although she claims she don't give a damn what the internet says, she definitely does give a damn about how the internet perceives her. Saw. It's giving he needs to be put in a pamper. Girl, I don't know what it's giving. It's giving leave me alone because I don't you're just leave me alone. If you just can't be a grown ass man, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay. And that goes into my next topic. Like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to talk mess. I don't need to do that anymore, you guys. But people are gonna stop playing with me in 2024. Because I'm not playing no more games. I don't want to play with y'all. Y'all are not worth my time. Y'all have played on my top for enough years. And I'm not playing with y'all no more. Okay? So if you guys want to keep playing with me, I can play back. Exactly gorgeous. Okay? Yeah. Um, that guy on Cash App needs to get a life. It's not my business. I can't tell people to get a life. I can't. I don't care enough to tell. So I'm, I I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm like super at peace. Okay. I'm so, oh, this calming feeling in my soul. A person that is at peace would not disrupt their peace with things that they don't have to talk about. Sis, you're clearly not at peace. You're upset that the two men in your life most recently have moved on to other relationships and you're still in transition. You're in limbo with your, whatever you got going on over there. Because if you were at peace and you clearly knew that Zola was not the father, him cash apping you and then sending the cash app, canceling the cash app wouldn't even bother you. You would have just politely blocked him, put your phone down and went on about your business. It feels so good. And can't nobody take that away from me. Can't nobody play with that. Can't nobody. There goes my baby. Can't nobody do much. <clears throat> exactly, D. Oh my gosh, my son, man. My son be playing too much.
gorgeous Jay say, girl, hush. Okay. Anyway. All right, let's do this waxing thing. And then I gotta, should I do lashes? No, I shouldn't do lashes, huh? But like I said, I'm very much at peace and it's 204. And I just don't wanna play with y'all. I don't wanna play with y'all no more. So please leave me alone, okay? But let's just snowball right into the next topic. I don't know. I saw something, something was sent to me today. And I don't know how old this is. I don't know how old this is. Um, <laughs> and I hope everybody's watching this. And I'm not trying to, I really didn't even want to talk about this because I don't like to give stupid put stuff attention anymore because that's what people want people want me to get sidetracked and show them attention so they can feel important um but okay so olivia nobody feels important because you mentioned them or their name or on the internet sis like at this point people are kind of numb to your shenanigans when it comes to the internet and, and your topics of conversation. We're just talking about this is because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. There's a couple things in here that I did agree with Olivia with, and we're getting ready to get to that part. I just don't understand how this grown woman continuously feels like the internet needs to take her side. We don't live with you, sis. We're not in these relationships. We don't have to deal with Gerard. We don't have to deal with Zolo. We don't have to deal with Anthony. We don't have to deal with any of these people. You do. I don't understand. I don't I don't know if Olivia feels like her life is complete, if the internet sides with her. I, it's so weird how this woman, every being, I feel like is controlled behind what the internet thinks about her. It's so weird, but yet she gets on here and says she's in her soft girl area and she's unbothered. But you constantly keep coming to the internet with your problems, wanting the internet to have empathy and sympathy with you or for you. Oh, somebody sent me something. I don't know why y'all keep sending me this stuff, but okay, we'll talk about it because enough is enough. Um, all right, so I was sent something... Okay, I don't know if you guys are new here, but my first kid's father, okay, he is with somebody and she's extra, she's petty, she does too much for the internet. She's one of those, okay, like this last dude I was just talking about. I agree, love. <sighs> like my ex as well, he's the same way. Um, okay, so there's this big debacle about my baby and football practice. Right. Once again, his father could just pick up the phone and call me, you know, and we could talk about it, but he's not there mature wise. I don't feel like he's allowed to speak to me. So let me, let me interject. Olivia, Christian is going on his third season of football. What is there to talk about? He's going on his third season. If you really had a big problem with Christian playing football for Antonisha's family because Antonisha's family which is Gerard's fiance is is the one who orchestrates this football league that Christian is involved with if you really had a problem and a valid reason why you didn't want Christian involved in it you would have took it to the court just like Gerard takes you to court for everything you would petition the court for that reason as well too you haven't done that. So what is, I don't understand what the problem is. You haven't done that. So he's not able to really get an answer and get an understanding on why I'm not participating in my son's football practices. Um, so I'll say it here. So everybody knows, so you guys can stop bringing me this dumb shit. First of all, number one, don't, I don't want to hear nobody talk to me about anything that my son has going on as far as the internet goes. That's my baby. He came out of my vagina and I carried him for 10 months and that's mine. Christian out there is my son. So don't play with, with what I have. What I created, don't play with. Okay. That's number one. Number two. Um, 
their father does not include me in anything in the plan for the longest time when i was out here before he wouldn't even tell me where the practices were he wouldn't tell me anything about anything so now that he wants me to participate because he wants his son at the games he wants to tell me all this information and, and whatever 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 but he's already kept me out of their stuff for so long that it's like you feel me that it's like what i, I don't understand what is it like he in the, in the beginning he kept you out of it because you guys weren't in the same state he told you that christian was involved in football when they had a um they were trying to raise money he sent you the information to hope that you would share it on your social media so christian could get more help with raising money for the football league you chose not to so Again, Christian is going on his third season with football. You clearly by now know where those practices are held. You clearly by now know where the games are being held. You have the schedule because you just stated Gerard is relaying that information to you. He always related to you. You just chose to ignore it, right? And you clearly know that Christian likes playing. If he did not like playing, he would have told you that. But he's never told you that. Unfortunately, Christian doesn't have a driver's license or a car. So when he's at your house, he can't just get in a car and drive himself to practice, Olivia. You, his mother. And then Gerard shouldn't have to come get him because now that Christian is with you, that's your responsibility to get him to his extracurricular activities. And when he's with Gerard, it's Gerard's responsibility to get him to the extracurricular activities. It would be all the same if you decided to put Christian in, I don't know, basketball. And you have him engaged in a basketball league. So when Gerard has him, he would take Christian to his practices and games if they occur on the weekend that he would have them and vice versa for you. Like, let's be honest, Olivia, you don't have to sit on the phone and have a conversation with Gerard about how to facilitate getting a boy to and from practices because Gerard has already given you the information in the app that you guys communicate with on where practices are held, who the coach is, the address. You have all that information. You're just choosing to be spiteful because you don't like the fact that Antonisha family is is how the league has came about, why he's involved in it. It really shouldn't matter who orchestrates the league. It's the fact that your son is playing, and from what I'm here, he's pretty good. Number three, that's her and her, that's the, the girl he's with, that's her and her family stuff. If you guys have been here long enough, you know that her family is as cuckoo as for Cocoa Puffs as she is. So they think that they can come up to me and get in my face and try to threaten me and, and assault me and harass me in public. And I'm just not in the mood for that. And they'll, they'll, they'll openly do it in front of my kids. I so here's the thing, Olivia. First, it was you didn't have the information. You didn't know where to go. Now you have the information. Now you don't want to go. So it sounds like there's no pleasing you. Like, what do you want? So you, do you want Christian not to be involved in extracurricular activities? Is that what it is? So then what do you want Christian to do with his spare time? Sit over there and hold Kaylani while you sit on the internet and talk about his daddy and his fiance and the other alleged baby father to the internet? Again, this is a woman that says she's not monetized here. So why even waste two hours of your time for absolutely free? they did uh, a couple years ago at the mall and the packed mall uh, the little sister came in my face spitting hollering with stank breath all in my face invading my my space and i'm not in the mood i'm not in the mood for drama i'm not in the mood for bullshit. i don't have to deal with it and i will not deal with it so since you cannot keep these people on a leash and you they don't they don't know how to show respect to the mother of your children as you don't I will not be involved in that type of bullshit. Okay, you're not gonna traumatize my kids anymore. You're not gonna disrespect me anymore. 
the whole disrespecting Olivia thing is over with. Okay. So I got a message today. I guess the girl. So hold on. So if the whole disrespecting Olivia thing is over with, how, how are we stopping you being disrespected? You just, so you don't show up in their spaces. So you won't be accosted. Now, again, I'm not saying Olivia. I, uh, here's the thing. Olivia should be able to go to any function that has Gerard's family or Antonisha family and not be feared that somebody's going to put their hands on her. However, the reason why you have that fear, because what you're doing right now, you, you, you bumping them gums, sis, you bumping those gums on the internet. And when you had the mall at the bra two years ago and that woman ran up on you, girl, you were shaking like a pair of craps. See, you got to stop bumping them gums, Olivia, because people, there are a lot of people that will react to your, re to your action, right? They will react. Everybody ain't scared, sis. You do got to understand that everybody ain't scared. So you got to stop bumping your gums unless you really to unless you're ready to back it up. If you're not willing to back it up, stop bumping your gums about other people because you on the internet and you feel like you untouchable. It's been proven more than once that somebody can and will pull up on you. Girl that he's with is posting, she posted something like, oh, we miss C Webb, my son. I guess he had a game or a practice or something. Um, oh, and number four is my son doesn't want to go. My son wants to be here and spend time with his brother, spend time with his little sister, spend time with his mama. You know, sometimes parents put kids and stuff that, not saying that Christian doesn't like playing football. I'm sure he likes it. I'm sure he likes the camaraderie of it. I'm sure he likes to be a part of a group and have fun. But is it his choice to go every day and play football? Like, is it... No, some parents make their kids do certain things because they're trying to live out their own dream through their kid. And that's fine, but I know that's definitely what's going on here. Wait, so what's wrong with that? If if Gerard wants to, if he sees the potential in his son to be a good athlete, he's not supposed to embark on that because it bothers his mama? So you like makeup. You 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 aspire to be some type of makeup artist or esthetician. So if one of your three daughters show the same liking in makeup, are you going to suppress that because you, you don't want them living through you? You don't want to live through them vicariously? Like, Olivia, you sound dumb, sis. <laughs> like, that don't even make sense. Gerard's not forcing that boy to be in activities. He's uh, giving him something to look forward to. He's giving him another outlet. There are a lot of children out here that need to be involved in extracurricular activities. It keeps them out of trouble. It keeps them grounded. It keeps them focused. It gives them something to look forward to. It teaches them life lessons, like how to be a team player, how to um, learn how every, there's not always going to be a winner. There's going to be a loser at times. It, it teaches them team building skills. It teaches them. Th but see, you've never were taught that. So you don't understand that. Like, what are you talking about? I encourage my kids to play sports. I encourage that. Like, I wanted them to be involved in sports. And I went and supported my children in their sports activities, regardless if they was at their dad's house or they were with me. See, the reason why you and Gerard are not on the same page is because, sis, you've always been on a different page with him ever since this whole separation. You consistently or constantly come to this internet with your issues. And the, again, the whole reason why Gerard, Antonisha's posting stuff on her Instagram saying, I miss C-Web, because Olivia, Olivia has to understand she created all this chaos. If it wasn't for Olivia, we would have never known who Antonisha was. Olivia brought Antonisha to the internet because she decided to bring her business to the internet. And now that an, a, Antonisha doesn't mind being vocal on the internet, the platform Olivia brought her to, now she mad. Now Olivia upset. But you brought that lady here. You made her a part of this conversation. 
She never had to be a part of this conversation. In my opinion. And um, how do I know this? Because I, this is my situation, right? And this is another thing. People are like, oh no, here she goes talking about this situation again. I'll talk about this situation until I'm six feet under, okay? This is my situation. That's my kid's father. These are my children. And I will talk about this situation until I'm dead in the grave, okay? So I'm not talking about this because I'm obsessed. I'm not talking about this shit. Erica says in the chat, says, would it have been okay if Gerard would have said we missed C-Web? Would you have felt better if Gerard would have posted that on Instagram? Does it make a difference if it, if Gerard did it or Antonisha? Is it, is it upsetting you because Antonisha did it? Because if Gerard would have posted that, would you have still been equally upset? Erica in the chat wants to know. Because I don't know these people and I'm trying to make a buck off these people. This is my situation. So I will talk on this situation as long and as... If I want to make a video about this shit every single day, that's my right because this is my life and my situation. Okay. And I will not have people trying to come on the internet and disrespect me and make it seem like it's something that it's not. I am not going around people who don't know how to control themselves, okay? I don't even know these people. I've never met them a day in their life. I'm talking about this lady and her family. You ain't got to know them. Gerard don't know your baby daddy. Kaylani's daddy. Yeah, Gerard don't know who he is. But if he came there to visit Kaylani... And the kids were over there. I don't think Gerard would have a problem with that. So you don't have to have met you. The fact that you don't know Antonisha's family. That, so, and you don't have to know them. You're not dating Antonisha. Gerard is. So you don't have, you know who Antonisha is. That's all you need to know. Her extended family. Yeah. You're not supposed to be personally introduced to everybody in, in Antonisha's family. Why? Gerard hasn't been personally introduced to everybody in your family. I'm sure there's people in your family he don't know. This irrelevant woman and her family. I don't know y'all people. I right, don't care simply. to know y'all. Y'all are very disrespectful and y'all have a problem with me because that was... Because y'all already know. Y'all already know what it is. And y'all just have this huge problem with me. Um, That's none of my business. I don't care how you feel about me and I shouldn't even know how you feel about me because I don't care. I don't care. But the fact that you think you can come up to me, her mama came up to me the other day. I went to go pick up my babies from school. This is how these people are. These people think like he's giving these people so much power, but I'm not giving y'all that power. I'm not doing it with y'all. I'm not going to go back and forth with y'all weirdos. I'm not going to play no games with y'all weirdos. Those are my kids and those are his kids. He thinks in his brain, that he can raise me and try to make you a mom or some shit. You're not a mother. You are a friend of the family and you are his helper. Okay. That's what you are. That's that on that. And that's all it's ever going to be. <sighs> right. She, she barely know her own family, black and bougie. Exactly. Oh, we getting ready to get to to the mama. So Antonisha's mother pulls up on Olivia. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on that. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like Olivia is jealous. Hold on, baby. I do feel that way. But at this point, no, go in the other go. restroom. Like, there's no need to feel jealousy or antimony. No, I'm about to get off the live. Go in the other restroom. Relationship because obviously, it, it has a time. No, she's not. She just, she just went to the door. Oh, baby, she wants to use the restroom. Perlina, we're going to get to that. Yeah, they should be respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 not like they have to kiss my ass or anything like that. Like, you don't even have to talk to me. Don't even talk to me. Don't even look at me. Because like I said, for this whole entire... What, babe? Yeah, that's grandma's. Anyway. Oh, my God. What, babe? Anyway, <laughs> okay, like I was saying, 
like I was saying, um, just the other week, I went to go pick up my kids and um, you have a certain period of time that you can pick them up in, okay? I, was, I wasn't I was right on time because there's so much fucking traffic. I'm so far from the school, y'all. I'm like an hour away from their school when there's traffic, okay? So there was like a wreck that day. It was like a, a lot going on that day. So I- Okay, Olivia, we gonna stop you, sis. That's no excuse to be late, okay? You, you been new the distance between your home and the kids' school, okay? You, you, you're you fully aware of the commute, right? Now, you know what time that Ryan gets out of school, right? I, I think you're fully aware what time she gets out of school. There's always traffic in Dallas, sis. It's Dallas. It's, if anything, take the street. Don't take the highway, take the street. Might take you an extra 20 minutes to get there, but at least you would get there without with avoiding traffic and you could be on time. Now, it sounds like you were almost out of the grace period of being late. Because y'all know there's a time you need to pick up the children, but then they'll give you a little grace. Because again, there, there are unforeseen situations that happen. But let's listen to how Olivia talked about the situation. It was like, I was, I was before, I, was, I wasn't late, like late after we sure the time is, but Nita. Up anymore. I was like... I was in that grace period of time. You know, I'm usually right on time, right when they get out of school, but I had there's like a 30 minute grace period. So I was like 20 minutes over the 30 minute grace period. So I still had 10 minutes left, right? So I pull up. So hold on. So you was damn near 30 minutes late? Oh, sis. Is the girl in before and after school care or something? Because if you, if she's not in before and after school care and she was sitting up at the school, and you did, did you call the school to let them know that you were arriving late? Did you did you call the school and alert them of that? Because if you didn't call the school, how was they supposed to know what was going on with you? See, Olivia, you got to learn to do that. You got to communicate, sis. You probably could have avoided the situation had you called the school. Sounds like you didn't call the school to alert them that you were going to be late. You knew that you were going to be late. Why didn't you call the school? Uh, and here comes that lady's mom okay i've never seen her a day in her life i never met this lady she's never said hello she has never introduced herself nothing she comes up to me first of all she's holding ryan she has ryan okay she's holding ryan's wrist like this while she's walking my baby to me and i'm trying to like make room in the back seat and everything i'm parking my babies and she's holding my baby's wrist like this she comes up to me yelling at me you're late. Where do you come from? Da, 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 da. I turned around. I said, excuse me? Who are you? I now, let me say this, y'all. In my opinion, the woman that she's speaking of that came up to her with Ryan in her hand is Antonisha's mother. Olivia says in this video that Antonisha's mother was there to pick up her other grandkids. So more than likely, she's seen that Ryan was still there past the time that she should have been picked up. Now, out of concern, more than likely, she probably either called Antonisha or she probably called Gerard or maybe she called Antonisha to ask Gerard, hey, what time is this lady? Did she call y'all and tell y'all she was going to be late? So the woman, instead of her just burning off the tires and driving off into the sunset with the other kids she came there to pick up, out of concern, she sat there to wait to see if anybody was going to pick Ryan up. Now, in my opinion, I do feel like that woman shouldn't have pushed up on Olivia like that because Olivia didn't have an arrangement with Gerard's, or excuse me, Antonisha's mother. It, if anybody should have came up to Olivia checking her, it should have been the people in the school. But the people in the school, because more than likely, Aunt Amnesia's mother probably is on the emergency list. So they, the school probably allowed Ryan to leave with the with Aunt Amnesia's mom because she's more than likely on the list for emergencies for the kids to leave with an adult, right? But because Olivia didn't call the school to alert the school that she was going to be late, the school had no idea. So obviously it's 
these people want to get off work, right? They can't leave until all the kids are gone unless you're in before and after school care or unless you're in some type of after school activity. Everybody else who is not involved in that as far as school administration, school personnel, school staff, baby, they want to go home, right? So in my opinion, Antonisha Mama shouldn't have came up to Olivia like that because, again, Olivia and Antonisha Mama don't have an arrangement. Olivia's arrangement technically is with Gerard because her and Gerard are the parents of these children. If anybody should have came and checked Olivia, it should have been the school, in my opinion. But it sounds like the, the grandmother, Antonisha's mom, took Ryan out of concern because didn't nobody know what was going on because Olivia didn't call the school. Had she called the school, Antonisha mom probably would have never gotten involved because the school would have said, no, mom called and she's going to be late, but she's on her way. But this Dean Bat didn't do that. So that's why you got checked by Antonisha's mom because you didn't call the school. Oh, and what are you? So why are you holding my baby's wrist like that? Who are you? I thought she worked for the school, girl. I'm blah blah's mama and blah 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 blah. I said, okay, first of all, pipe down. You don't have to be rude. I've never even met you a day in my life. I don't know who you're talking to. And I said, why are you holding my daughter's wrist like I'm not holding your daughter's wrist like nothing? <laughs> As you can imagine, and my baby's just standing there looking at her mommy like. I'm sick of these people doing this weird ass shit around my, my kids, okay? So you think that I'm gonna put myself, you guys don't even have enough respect and Gerard, I'm talking to you especially. You don't even have enough respect for your kids to tell these people to stay in their fucking lane. But you think I'm gonna bring my kids somewhere? Where Gerard shouldn't have to tell them to stay in their lane. Don't you got a mouth? The woman was in your face. You should have checked her. Why Gerard got to check them for you? You and, and Antonisha mom were the one having an, an altercation at that moment. Where is Gerard going to descend from to, to protect your honor? No, you should have protected your honor. Just like when, when Antonisha's sister ran up on you in the mall, you should have checked her. That was your job to protect yourself, not Gerard. That's not his job to protect you. You're an adult. You and Gerard are not together. Antonisha mom ran up on you and asked you why you was late. You should have told her. You should have checked her. Where they can just, I don't care how you feel about me. I don't care how this internet, what, you're, what that lady feels about me. What, I don't care what nobody thinks about me. I'm these kids' mama, and they love me like I'm their mama, period. That's that on that. It's not ABCs. It's not one, one two, threes. It's not algebra, nigga. It's, it's plain as day. The same way you like your mama, they love me 10 times more because I'm an actual mama. You feel me? Latoy, she probably was holding Ryan's. I don't know how. It doesn't even matter how she was holding Ryan's hand. It don't. That don't even matter, right? It wasn't like she was holding Ryan by the back of her shirt or pulling her by her one of her ponytails. It don't even matter. Olivia's trying to make it up. It, that don't even matter. You were late. You said you were damn near 30 minutes past the grace. Uh, you, were, you're th you were 30 minutes into the grace. That's what you said. What matters is you didn't call the school to alert them that you were running behind. That's how Antonisha mama got involved. Had you called the school to alert them that you were running behind. Antonisha mama probably would have never got involved. So that was your poor judgment. You should have called the school while you was on the, because more than likely you had your phone in your hand. You was either talking on it, texting on it, or you was uh, listening to a reaction video about you. You were, you had, you had communication with your phone as you were driving from wherever you left from going to that school. You should have picked up that school, your phone and called the school and told them you were running late. When Antonisha mama was leaving at school, she wouldn't have bothered with Ryan because the school staff that was watching Ryan until you showed up would have said, mom just called. She's on her way. 
I, I ride for them. I love them. I love on them. I, I care for them. That's that's my babies. So the fact that you keep playing with their mama is some weird ass shit to me. But you, you need to tell them people to stay in their fucking lane. And I told. So hold on. Somebody in chat says there's no reason why she should be late. Now let's be honest, y'all. People be late. Stuff happens. When we leave our homes, we all have intentions to get to places on time, but traffic happens, accident happens, tires blow out, shit do happen. So we're not going to say that every time you're going to be on time because I, I throughout my throughout my kids in school, there was times I was late picking them up. I left where I was going with intentions on being on time. But a train, a, a train can happen. Anything can happen to make you late. We're not saying that Olivia should never be late. There are times that you're going to be late, even if you don't intend to be, right? <clears throat> what she could have done to alleviate all that, listen to what I'm saying, y'all. Just listen. All she had to do was call to school. Olivia didn't call to school. She didn't even say it in this speech. She never called to school. Had she called the school, Antonisha's mama probably would have never got involved. Because, again, I'm going to say this one more time. When Antonisha seen Ryan was still there, she probably would have said something to the staff and they would they would have related to her. We've already got a call from mom. She's on her way. Told you that on the app and I'm telling you here publicly, tell them people to stay in their lane and to leave me the fuck alone. Don't ever think that you can come up on me in person. Okay. That's true, Tina. Don't ever think you can come up on me because you don't know what I could be holding that day, what I could be swinging that day. Don't come up to me in person. I don't know you people. I don't care whose mama you are. That lady has nothing to do with my kids. This internet has given that person a boost of fucking um, delusion. So she thinks she's something. You are nothing more than my ex's girlfriend, fiance, whatever the hell you are over there. That's what you are. You help with my children and that is all you are. Okay. I mean, what else is she supposed to be, sis? She's Gerard's fiance. She's past girlfriend. She's fiance and she lives in the house with your children, sis. When you were living in Florida, she did everything for those kids. She got them ready for school. She did their hair. She helped them with homework. She, cause she lives in the house with them, uh, Olivia. So she's, she's more than a helper, right? She's Gerard's fiance and on her way to being their stepmother legally. They're very close to that point, right? Now, when they're getting married, I don't know, but I'm sure it's going to be soon. More than just the helper. Olivia, she, Olivia, look, I understand you don't love Antonisha, and you're not supposed to. You don't have to. Like, Y'all, I'm going to just keep it 100. She ain't got to love Antonisha. She don't. But I feel like Antonisha and Olivia need to respect each other and just let it go. Olivia, it starts with you. You got to let it go. You got to stop coming to this internet, antagonizing the situation. Because what you fail to understand is when those kids are not there with you, they're over there with her. And what you're creating is a hostile environment for those children. Those kids can't even tell you anything in secret because you always run into the internet telling the internet what your kids are telling them about their situation living in the house with Gerard and Antonisha. The fact that your kids can't even confide in you because you're always running their business to the internet. What? Since I don't understand why you do that. Why do you do that? Why do you, why do you not allow those kids to talk to you in private? Why do you always bring those conversations that they tell you in private to the internet? There's a lot of stuff that go on with you that those kids tell their dad that Gerard don't necessarily bring to the internet. Now, he brings some of it by way of someone else, but he don't bring all of it. Why do you do that? Why do you defy those kids' privacy by bringing things that they tell you to the internet? Because you want Gerard to look bad to the internet. Let's be honest, sis. We don't give a damn about Gerard. We don't give a damn about you. And we don't give a damn about Antonisha, sis. We just nosy mother suckers on the internet. That's it. Girl, we watch 
watching a bunch of dysfunction on the internet. You ain't the only one. Stop acting like the internet really care because we don't. And you're nothing more than that. And I'm sorry that you feel boosted up in your head like you're something that you're not, but you're not. I have to burst that bubble for you. You're not. That's not their grandma. You make, you make my kids call that woman Nana. And my kids feel weird about that shit. Like, you guys are weird. <coughs> and if it was me doing this shit, I would be talked. Oh, my God. Why are you blah, 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 blah? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You said the kids feel weird about calling Aunt Tanisha's mama Nana. Why do they feel weird? Them kids ain't told you that. They ain't told you that, Olivia. You're making that up. And, and let's say they did tell you that. Why are you making a hostile environment for them? Now, it could be potential that the that Antonisha mama might feel, start feeling some type of way. <coughs> because now... <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. My allergies, y'all. I'm so sorry. Because now you're making it to where Antonisha's mother can feel some type of way about those kids. Because now it's it, it, it could be perceived that the kids is over there gossiping with you about her. Again, why would you do that? Why would you defy those kids like that? If If, let's just say they did tell you that. Why are you telling the internet that? So we can blow it out of proportion. And now those kids, when they go over there, now they going to be feeling kind of funny because they know their secret is now out because their mama put it out there. Blah, blah, blah. You bitches on this internet are weird, okay? All of you people are weird when it comes to live. But it's cool. But if you think that I'm going to put myself in that situation to be around those people, like I said, I don't care. I could take, I could do, I could do my thing. I could stand on my own. I don't need, a, I don't need 10,000 people behind me. I don't need nothing. I could do it on my own. But the fact that you think you're going to traumatize my children. If you could do it on your own, then why you didn't check Antonisha mama when she ran up on you about being late picking up Ryan? You need the internet to validate it, but if you if you don't need 10,000 people behind you, why are you talking to 10,000 people now about what went on when it was just you and her? Olivia, face it, you're scared. And I'm gonna be honest, if I was you, I would too, because all the shit you done talked on this internet, oh baby, I'd be nervous too. And bring that shit in front of my kids. That's the problem I'm having with this situation. And no, I will not take my son to that football game. I will not. It's not in the court order. I don't have to. And I won't. Because those people are disrespectful. And not to me. They don't care about my children. They don't care about my kids. They don't. They don't. Because if they did, they would show more respect to me. Because Girl, you ain't got nothing to do with them kids. You need to be thankful that those kids, they do love those kids. You need to be thankful that they are embracing those children as if they're their own. Hell, you ain't got no family in Texas they, they could be a part of. Gerard is the one with the family. Antonisha is the one with the family. If it was left up to you, them kids would never leave out of their damn apartment. Olivia, hush. Them people ain't got to love you to love them kids. Girl, you sound delusional. That don't even make sense. They ain't got to love you. Now, I feel like there should be a level of respect on both parties. I do feel that. But them people ain't got to love you to love them kids. You're not a part of the package, sis. You're not with Gerard. Because regardless of how you feel, I'm their mom. And they don't know little kid wants to see their mama be, be talked down to, threatened, run up in her face. No kids want to see that shit. No kids. Last time it happened, y'all, where y'all think you were doing something in the mall, I'm not, and I'm not going to fight y'all. I'm not going to Hey, child, that's hold on, hold on. I just got a solution here. Look, look, I'm about to solve all this for every damn body. Okay, Libby, you afraid that Gerard's people gonna run up on you like they did at the mall? Okay, 
Here's the solution. Let Stella take Christian to the football game. Let Stella take, cause I know Stella. Stella's a social butterfly. Chad, she'll be out there talking to the people, playing with folks' kids, holding people's babies. She don't care if they black babies, white baby, Mexican baby. Stella love everybody. She don't give a damn. Since you so damn scared, they don't want none of Stella because Stella ain't causing no confusion. Girl, they want a piece of your ass and keep on messing around. Somebody going to sneak you, okay? I'm telling you now. Go ahead and let Stella take Christian to the football game. Shit, at least give her a chance to get outside. She always stuck in that apartment babysitting for your ass. That's how you solve all this. Just, I don't feel like it's right that you don't allow Christian to go to his games and footballs when they fall on the weekend or the weekday that you have him. Since that's not fair. That's not right to him. Because obviously, you know, Christian loves what he's doing. So why not allow him to continue that on even when it's when he's over there with you? Because let's be honest, sis, Christian ain't missing ish if he two or three hours away from your house. Y'all ain't going nowhere and y'all ain't doing nothing but sitting up in that damn apartment. That's what I'm not going to do. I don't need to. I'm not going to give you that energy. Not because I'm scared. Not because I'm this. Not because I'm that. Because I don't, I don't need to. You're not that important to me. That's not my man. And I don't need to fight y'all, you know? And then what is that going to do for me that's going to put me in a bad situation to even be around these people? Y'all understand? Like, when the mama came up to me, I could have slapped you dead in the face for talking to me the way you did. But I held it together. And and I'm not going to keep playing right, with y'all. Right, Tina. Oh, hey, I'm racist. Not. I'm not. I, I don't know who y'all think I am. But Gerard should have told y'all, I don't play like that. But maybe he knows that. Maybe he's just trying to keep testing me. Go up to her. Go see what she's going to do. Go do this. Go. No, you sure ain't no. And anybody I'm dealing with, I would never let somebody keep coming up in your face. And and this is another thing. That lady didn't even have to have my child. She came up there to pick up her, her other, her actual grandkids. And she has my baby waiting in the car with her just so she can talk to Liv. No, so no, no. No, not because so she could talk to Liv. She wanted to make sure Liv showed her ass up. Girl, it's already on court record that you don't like taking the kids to school. <laughs> Since I'm going to just keep it 100. No, she wanted to ensure before she left that school, somebody was coming to get that baby. Olivia, once again, had you called the school, this would have never happened. So that's why you got to start acting like a, a, a involved adult. adult excuse me, y'all. An involved adult. The adult thing to do, once you knew you were running behind, you should have called the school. Girl, let me find out. You don't got the school's phone number in your phone. I, I'm, Livia, I'm just going to assume that you got your children's school phone number in your phone. I'm just going to assume that. And if you don't, why not? So she can come see Liv. Like, the school's still open. Leave my baby in the school. I'm coming to get my child. What the fuck are you holding my kid in the car for? And so you can come up to me and try to tell me something. Like what? I don't I don't even know you. You <laughs> like I said, these people are weird, okay? Stay the fuck from me. You don't have to know Antonisha Mama, but Antonisha Mama is fully aware of who those kids are, right? Because she spends a lot of times with those kids. To be quite honest with you, Olivia. You should probably be a little thankful that that woman was there to pick up your child because most schools don't play with being late. You know, next thing you know, they'll be calling the police because they nobody picked up, picked the girl up or, or they calling your phone and you not answering. The school can't sit there all night until you decide to get there to come pick up your baby because they got kids to go pick up their damn self. Like the, the people that work at the school, they got families too, sis. They got to get off work at a certain time so they can go pick up their children from school. Okay. And once again, if my ex, their father, wants to have a civil conversation about this and get an understanding, because she posts, like I said, the girlfriend posted something on social media trying to like out me for not taking my kids to his practices. Let me say this publicly so you don't have to do that no more. He's not going. I don't have to. 
I don't have to, it wasn't talked to his, nobody talked to his mama about it. And you people are disrespectful and you people do too much. So I won't be around y'all. You guys already proved that. You want to take it to the court? We could show the court the footage of y'all running up on me, right? Yeah, but the, 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 the sister that ran up on you has nothing to do with the football league. The judge is going to say, well, is this woman a part of the football league? And whoever is there to speak on the behalf of the football league is going to say no. No, no, she's not a part of it. So then the judge is going to say, well, ma'am, then what's the problem? Oh, because I don't like them and they're disrespectful to me. They don't kiss my ass like Gerard used to do when we were together. So I don't like the fact that when um, when Liv is on the scene, everybody's not bowing down saying all hell Liv is here. Like Olivia, since you got to grow up, ma'am. You got five damn kids. You got to grow up. The reality is you don't love Gerard and Antonisha and Gerard and Antonisha don't love y'all or you, excuse me. But those kids are a part of both of y'all's lives. They're a part of your life and Gerard and Antonisha. And the reason why I say you, because technically you ain't got a man, okay? And when you do get a man, Imagine, uh, think about it, Olivia. Imagine the new man that uh, one day you may meet that comes into this dysfunction. Like you would, you would think you would try to clear some of this up. So when your new man arrives, he won't have to be explained and and briefed on the dysfunction you have created with this whole situation. Because Olivia, I don't mean to keep pointing fingers, but sis. You kind of put all this together. You're the creator of majority, not all, but majority of this dysfunction that happens on the internet because you cultivated all this. Because again, your lives life, your channel, you have brought a lot of your discretions with Gerard and Antonisha via through the internet. I just really wish Antonisha and Olivia both would stop. And I know a lot of you guys are team Antonisha. Some of you guys are team Olivia. Baby, I ain't team nobody. I don't give a damn about neither one of them. I just do reaction videos. But just as a woman myself and being in a situation like Olivia, nobody is ever going to win. Now, her and Gerard having a sit-down conversation, I mean, I think it would be beneficial for the betterment of those kids. I think it would be beneficial. Gerard not wanting to talk to uh, Olivia this far into the game. They've divorced. He's moved on. She's moved on because she's had two more kids after him. I really feel like at this point in the game, they should sit down and have a conversation. Like, let's let's squash all this. I don't understand why it keep has to get... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a non-confrontational individual, and I don't like all drama and chaos. Like, if it can be easy, let's let it be easy, right? Imagine going through this for the next 10 years with these kids. Those poor kids. Like, they're literally torn between everybody. And what's happening is they're developing dysfunction in these children. They're developing toxicity in these children because they're around it all the time. They're around it when they're over there, Olivia. When they go home to their daddy, they're around it over there. When it comes to the, the co-parenting co -parenting dynamic, right? And again, although Olivia, in my opinion, cultivated a lot of this, Gerard played into it too, right? And, and, I, and I get everybody's side, but all I'm saying is, this far into the game, it, it really needs to stop. I know we enjoy the entertainment or watching these people act the ass on the internet. But y'all, if for all of us who are parents, what we have to remember, the kids is what's the most important thing in this whole situation. We can't forget about the children. Getting me good, right? Okay, so stay the fuck from me. Stay the fuck away from me. When you see me picking up my children, stay stay away from me. I'm picking up my children. I ain't got shit to do with him. I ain't got shit to do with you, babe girl. Okay? 
Keep your mom away from me, your auntie, your cousin, your, your little pit bull sister. I know you guys. I understand Olivia likes to lie. I, I get all that, y'all. I'm just talking moving forward. I, it, it could never happen. Let's be honest, y'all. This ain't my life. These aren't my children. This ain't my family. These are people I watch on the internet, okay? But because I've been watching it for so long, and maybe because of my, my maturity level, my mindset, I, I just... I just really feel like life is so short. Like, I don't really get into the whole beefing, arguing, going back and forth. I, mean, I don't get into all that. Life is too short for that. And I, I just really feel like co-parenting effectively is the best way to co-parent. If it's possible. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. If it is possible. Maybe it will never be possible. But unfortunately, that's going to be, you know, hard for those kids. Because they're always going to be torn between these two adults, Gerard and Olivia. Keep all them people away from me, okay? I don't want none with nobody. I don't want nothing with nobody, none of y'all. You guys are so irrelevant to me. It's like dealing with the lady down the street holding my kid's arm. Like, you guys are so irrelevant. Now, if it was Gerard's mama, okay, cool. I'll take her bullshit. So, okay, Sunshine just says, since I don't understand what Nisha is doing wrong. Okay, let me just say this, Sunshine. You may agree, you may you may disagree. Antonisha posting on her Instagram, we miss C-Web. We already know why Antonisha did that. Because she knows the internet watches Antonisha, right? So Antonisha, obviously, y'all, let's, let's, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it funky. She did that intentionally. Right. To let people know Olivia once again neglected to take Christian to the football game or the practice or whatever it was. Right. Again, I'm not saying Olivia's right. She dead ass wrong. Dead ass wrong. But Antonisha know what she doing. She she know what she doing. And at some point, y'all, if these people really want private lives or maybe not all their all their business on the Internet, Olivia. And the other parties involved got to quit the shenanigans. Now, who going to start first? Baby, that's between them. I don't know. But at some point, it has to stop. I do feel like Antonisha doing that is just playing into the constant situation back and forth on the internet between them two. Uh, Olivia's no saint. She definitely contributes to the drama. I'm not saying she doesn't. But I feel like at this point, Olivia and Antonisha both need to stop. That's just my opinion. At least she's the actual grandmother. You feel me? Whatever. I got to deal with her. I got to deal with her. But yo mama and you and your people, who the fuck are you? Honestly, truly, who are you? I'm telling you right now, you're not who you think you are. So just knock it off. At least, and I say that with respect. I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm Antonisha account is private, sis. But if you were on her account when Ant when uh, when Olivia brought Antonisha to the internet a couple years ago, Antonisha account wasn't private. So if you were able to get in about three years, I follow Antonisha on Instagram. I don't watch everything she posts because I don't really be on Instagram like that. But I am on her Instagram, right? If you were able to get in before she shut it down, before everybody started flooding her Instagram. Antonisha made it private once everybody started flooding her Instagram. But initially, her Instagram was not private. It was public. Because y'all got to remember, Antonisha was on Instagram like everybody else in the world, posting pictures and, and doing whatever, you know, having fun with the internet. Olivia was the reason why Antonisha had to put it on private because it got flooded by everybody who's watching the shenanigans of Liv's life. I'm saying that, like, you think you're something in my kid's head but you're not. So just knock it off, okay? I'm telling you right now, when they get of age, they'll never speak to you again. And I'm not because, not because of anything I'm saying, just because of, I know, I, well, my kids tell me how they feel about the situation. And you guys don't make it any better when you're constantly talking. Miss Anton, I know it's private now. Listen to what I'm saying, sis. It's private now. But at one point, about a couple years ago, everybody could get in because it was open. Right. It's it's been private for a couple of years now. But if you are one of the Gerard's, I don't know if Gerard's is private or not. 
I don't know. I follow Gerard Till on Instagram, but I don't know if it's private. I, I don't know, y'all. It doesn't even matter, okay? Antonisha has an Instagram. In the beginning, you could get into it. So a lot of people went over there and followed her, just like a lot of people followed Gerard. That's all I'm saying. So if you're one of the ones, you got to think about it, Miss Anton. It's the internet. All it takes for one person who was able to get in when they got in to mention it on the internet. So now it just went from her private Instagram to a public platform called YouTube, sis. It's, it's just that simple. About their mama calling me a pig, calling me a bit. You, you talk down on me ferociously in front of my kids. And it's really sad because I'm their mother. You said Gerard is here. You no, know, I'm their mom. I'm not, I don't know, but you'll see. They could show you better than they could tell you. I could show you better than I could tell you. They don't play about their mom. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's that on that. Um, but Gerard, since you want to keep playing with me and let this girl play with me on the internet, you want to keep talking about stuff to make me look bad why don't you stop talking about me and what i'm not doing or what i am doing tell the people why you let our son go into walmart and steal some shoes okay yeah mm -hmm. stop talking about what i'm not doing and talk about what you are doing oh okay. how dare you amazing. let my son he took my son up in in the walmart <laughs> you did this shit in front of all my kids and every time you come and try to play with me on this internet, I'm gonna come and play with you on this internet. Leave me alone. Stop trying to badmouth me. Stop trying to degrade my character. I'm the mother of your children. And since you weren't raised right to respect the mother of your children, I'm gonna teach you something here today. Stop playing with me, okay? He took my children into Walmart. This is the trauma. I'm talking about we spend our whole lives trying to teach these kids right from wrong at least i have okay olivia sis we, we've been doing this for about an hour with you um, um i don't know about y'all but i'm getting woe out okay so now you saying gerard is um soliciting christian to go into walmart and steal shoes <laughs> Since I don't believe that, I'm just gonna. I'm. I don't believe that. If Christian told you, obviously Christian would have told you that, right? So I'm not gonna call Christian a liar because that's a little kid. I don't. I wasn't there. Let me just say that, y'all. I wasn't there, right? But my question is, instead of you coming to the internet. Because, again, she wants the internet to hate Gerard. Like, the internet hates her. She wants the internet to hate Gerard, too. And she knows the internet doesn't hate Gerard. The internet hates her. So, instead of you coming to the internet to confide what your son told you, again, like I said before, putting your children in a situation, since why you didn't tell your attorney, you know, the one that helped you get extra visitation time with your children? Why would, because I guarantee you, if it was you and you did it, yeah, Gerard wouldn't have came to the internet and posted it on his Instagram. He would have told us an attorney. And the next time y'all went to court, that would have been brought up in court. See how you play yourself? I'm teaching my kids right from wrong. Despite what type of woman people think I am, what type of person you think I am, I want my kids to be better than me. That is the reason why we have kids. So they will be better than us. We'll teach them better. They'll live a better life. This person, just a couple weeks ago, he takes my kids into Walmart. He has Christian put on a pair of shoes, school shoes, okay? Some church shoes. You have him put on a pair of shoes and y'all walk out the store? Do you understand how traumatizing that is to kids? Because they don't understand. They're being taught, don't steal. And then their own father is teaching them to steal. And don't Olivia... Did you forget about the time? This was when your channel was called Living with the Web. Some of y'all might not know about this video. About four or five years ago, Olivia was in the Walmart and she um, took the liquid, the laundry detergent and poured some into the other bottle because she didn't like the fact that it wasn't all the way to the top and she felt like she was being robbed. You, you remember when you did that, Olivia? And the kids were with you. 
Uh huh. So you were stealing in Walmart too, sis. Okay. Maybe maybe you've been delivered. I don't know. Um, but you did it too with the kids that and Gerard asked you why did you do that? Right. Okay. Now that's when you and Gerard was over there, you know, struggling for coins and you were happy to get an interview at Subway. And, you know, that was about four or five years ago. And, and okay, y'all not together anymore. I mean, just recently when you were pregnant with this last baby, you had the kids in the damn store huffing uh, fabric softeners or boosts, fabric boosters or whatever the hell y'all was over there. Olivia, you, you know, here's the thing. I'm going to just say this. If Christian told you that, you should have, she says she did talk to Gerard in the app about it. Maybe Gerard didn't respond to her. And if he didn't, or if he did, what you should have done is told your attorney. Okay. Olivia, we're going to talk to you later, sis. Girl, bye. Oh my God. Oh boy. All right. Shouts out to the 900 plus in the chat. Um, a lot of you guys comments, obviously I could not read all of them. Um, but a lot of you guys had some very valid points in the chat. Um, you know, back to, um, she, she been delivered, Debbie Ann, uh, back to what I was saying about Antonisha's Instagram. Yes, her Instagram is private now, but at one point, a couple of years ago, it wasn't. So if you were able to get in, then you were able, if you weren't, you weren't right. So if one of the people, persons or people that are in her Instagram could just bring it to the internet, that's how a lot of us know what's going on. Right. Because a lot of reactors got into her Instagram back then, you know. I, I forget that I'm even, I even follow Anthony Shaw on Instagram. I really do forget it. Because I don't really go to Instagram like that, y'all. I go there. Primarily when I go there, I'm looking at other stuff. I ain't really looking at that. Um, <laughs> Miss Lifestyle said, Anthony Shaw needs to understand that playing into Olivia is going to drag her down. Um, Miss, um, is it Joe Ninix? lifestyle i don't think that's true i don't think olivia can drag antonisha down i definitely feel like antonisha vibrates on a somewhat of a higher level you got to remember antonisha doesn't do the internet for a living olivia does right so in my opinion olivia is going to keep getting the short end of the stick i don't feel like antonisha will um i just hope that one day all parties involved can come to a mutual agreement of how they handle themselves on the internet when it comes to the children and themselves. Will that ever happen? Only time will tell. As far as Olivia and Zolo's situation, Olivia, stop playing with Zolo. Like you played with Gerard and end up losing custody. Take that man to court and prove to the world, since you love proving stuff to the internet, if he is or is not the father, sis. All right? All right, y'all. That's my time, baby. I'm well out, okay? Y'all make sure y'all clock out. Hit the like button on the way out the door. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And TMR going to see you in the next one, honey. Remember, sub what you love. Bye.